what else happened that night between you and Sigrun? Well, we stayed up much too late. I told her stories, she told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. Then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. Hmm. And the next morning? The next morning we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun-dappled, crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you misspeak? You know me too well, brother. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. Hmm. Sigrun on the lake. Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rowed by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean, always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken beneath the surface. But hard to name it so boldly. Uh, it took me a bit off guard. Just for this try, but a little assist would be nice.
sequence, Siglin. I am still waiting for the part where you spoke. In my defense, I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were deep as Rand's Hall and had been for as long as I'd known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. A sudden cold clarity that it was vanity to imagine that I, as I am, could be enough for her as she is. So I heard myself tell her that I didn't think I could give her what she needed. Now, I am mad at you. Pile on, brother. I deserve it. Right side, brother! <laughs> The one you need to get there. <laughs> 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 That was demanding. Carry on.
Valhalla demands the willingness to embrace discomfort. Perfection may be unattainable, but imagine striving for it. We did more things and more things to do. Check. These could really help you in there. Memory of your past made manifest. Hmm. A dangerous memory. Well, that's a neat trick. <laughs> Quite a new power Valhalla's conjured for you. That sword isn't something full of terrible memories, I hope. What do you think? So, you told Sigrun you could not give her what she needed. You spoke of importance. Aye, obviously. 
but as prospects for terror go, can you imagine knowing all along you're not enough for someone, and then living out their slow realization of that truth? I admit it chilled me to the bone. You presume to know how she will feel in the future. Why discredit her wishes and yours in the present? I just can't pretend not to know better. She's romanticized the idea of us. Certainly I've done the same. But is that anything to build a future on? I mean, look at me, brother. Be practical. If anyone else disparaged you as you disparaged yourself, I would wish to strike them with an axe. Look, brother, I don't apologize for wanting her to have someone who can do everything to her. She deserves the best. Then why should she not deserve the smartest man alive? Sometimes I think you've come too far, brother. Be thy overstep. No, no, Kratos. I appreciate your point. And to be fair, if I was so right, then why am I so angry at myself? Could use some limited time assistance, couldn't we? Ugh! <sighs> 
Bounty on that one. Wyvern on the left. Be free to move up to the next area now.
see now. We must keep the primordial realms up here on the top shelf. Oh, I still can't bear the thought of Seekin having damaged herself to save us. Or having damaged her connection to Valhalla, which she doubtless say was worse. Will there be consequences beyond her injuries? I don't suppose I can be sure of that either way. But I'm certainly going to begin worrying about it now. Thank you kindly. Oh! Oh! We're up by those statues now. Judges, did you say? Perhaps the higher planes of Valhalla correspond to the deepest reaches of your memory. If I must carry you, make yourself useful. Say what you see in battle. Aye, aye, asshole. Watching you think? What a thrill. We better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sorts of acquaintances are looking to reconnect. <laughs> this one looks easy. If easy is what you're all about now. A moderate challenge here. More challenge, more loot, and all that. Oh! Take warriors. I'll holler. Who's perfect? But all right. Ruthless as ever, Kratos. <laughs> Yeah! 
Coming back here! Great job not hurrying. You do like your fights tougher after all.
Ah, getting a choice regarding your fate must be nice. Heading back to the cage, are we? I guess Valhalla is giving you a second chance. Hark! Well, now it's a party. What are you planning to do this time, Kratos? Wait! No, don't tell me. The suspense is honestly the only thing keeping me awake back here. Here's a radical thought for you. Maybe it only counts as a sacrifice if you give up someone you value. I think we all know that's not me. Why are you here? Cyclops! Never guess their weak spot. Brilliant move you've thought of. Um, Kratos? <laughs> Surely you're not supposed to. You know what? Never mind. I'd like to see this. The invitation was yours. I would have signed it. But it was important you come here for your own reason. 
Then you're not an illusion. You're in the flesh, old friend. What do you want? I know what you're wrestling with, Spartan. I understand it better than you realize. The shame. The doubt. The question I could find no answer for until I came here. Lifetimes ago. Stepped through that door. What is in there? I'm not here to spoil that for you. Only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us, fighting occupies the body while our minds work out the rest. Because you're not ready. Yet. by combat, Mimir. When Kratos can get the better of me, we'll know his mind is done work. Defend yourself. Focus, Kratos. Exquisite rage. Fight. There it is. That's it. Focus, Kratos. A man at war with himself places a deficit upon his focus. He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, a sharper instinct. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to progress. Incoming! Above you! Use it, yeah? 
Done, Kratos. I yield. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you. obstacles but opportunities for growth I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along your path rewards with a side of new opportunities. Every battle is an opportunity, right, General? Better yourself if and when you can, I always say.
And that benefit's good to last. We're all impressed by your progress, Jeff. We've never seen anyone engage Valhalla quite the way you have. Seagram, it's good to see you back. Freya was just being cautious. I'm right as rain. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye. And no projection, either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating. Kratos, I'm glad to see you're back inside. It seems Valhalla has arranged something special for you in the throne room. See you again soon, Kratos. <laughs>